April 10th. Uh, just shared with a couple other ladies while I was getting gas. Yeah, I could see these women, you know, they go to church. And, you know, when they see me like this, and I share with them what I'm sharing, and I show them the picture of the angel with the trumpet over my head, they're like, wow, that's neat. But now these are women that go to church. And they told me, I'm saved. But why do I get this overwhelming feeling? They are so lukewarm. Not only are they lukewarm, they, uh, they act like they're, you know, even talking to me, you know, like, I'm not even worth the time of day, you know, when I'm trying to take time to share with them and telling them what's about to happen, they didn't believe it, you know, they can't imagine, they actually thought I was a joke, you know, even after seeing the angel blowing a trumpet above my head. That's what I'm trying to say about a lot of these churches. Um, their pastors have been telling them, you know, you're all saved, you know. John 3.16, everybody's saved, we're all saved, let's all go out and sit away. You know, love your wealth, love everything you got. Jesus said the Son of Man, you know. God, no, foxes have foxholes. Birds have nests, but the Son of Man has no place. You know? And for me, when I refuse to uh, take their little bribe offers, that's the way it's been for me. I've been homeless myself now for quite a while. And <clears throat> you can see where, you know, once you get to a certain level, people here don't want to have nothing to do with you. See, I see new construction going on and everything. Devil's got me blacklisted, man. That song I used to listen to as a kid, Nazareth, uh, Please Don't Judas Me. I listen to that song in detail now, and it speaks about that, about being blacklisted. I never heard that when I was younger. But now, you know, now I can see why. You know? That song stood out so much to me as a child. Um, it's something when you're getting blacklisted, you know? And people can't believe it because there's all this work going on, you know? It's hard to believe. Because there's a lot of work going on everywhere. Man, there's so much of it, people are rushing. You know? But, uh... I'm gonna camp out here another night, you know? I might as well. I mean, why, uh. Why should I, uh. Take off to another place? I'll do it here one more night here, I guess. It's Sunday. Maybe I'll head out Monday. But anyhow, yeah, this is a total drag, you know? When you, uh. Nobody believes you, you know? And then, you know, they're telling me how they're saved. They're laughing at me. She actually, she was laughing at me, what I said. And, uh, <clears throat> you know, you try to share with them to tell them to try to wake them up. If they can't see what's at hand, what's getting ready to happen, they don't even see what's going on over their heads right now. And then they sit there and say, you know, they're all right. They're okay with everything. They ain't worried about nothing because things are just fine in their life. But it's not going to be that way very soon. And I'm sure that lady's going to remember me talking to her, too. The Holy Bible even says that to be careful because you don't know who you're in the presence of. You don't, you know. And I'm not claiming anything special. I'm just saying... I've always felt like I didn't belong here. And when I see people staring at me and stuff like that, this guy just got out of his truck digging into his eye really hard. He's got some kind of a big utility truck. But, uh, 
Most people ain't gonna see what's getting ready to happen, man. This is a shame. You know, even when you share with these people, man, they all think you're out after something or they don't want nothing to do with you. This, this is a cold world, man. I told that lady, I said, America's gonna be attacked by China and Russia and because it's a perverted state, nation, man. They ain't got no homosexuals running around out there. Nobody does, just here in America. And this is why America's going to be destroyed. You guys are so relaxed, thinking you got it all made. You're going to have it all yanked out from underneath of you real quick. Not only will you have it yanked out up from underneath of you, you're going to be wondering what just happened. Wow. I am so ready. Just looked at this tag where I just parked, and the uh, license plate is CC, which is C is the third letter in the alphabet, 33, and then it says J3, Jesus, the Father, Son, and the Holy Spirit, the three, and it's 888, you know, I mean, I see things, I see signs, I know we're getting ready to go home. I've been doing this for a while. I'm tired. And I just want to let you know, there's a lady out there, I was listening to her this morning, one of her clips. She feels she's going to be a martyr and get her head cut off. But let me tell you something. Jesus can do whatever he wants to do. And you don't have to be no martyr, not if you see perfectly well what's happening right now. There's a reason why you're seeing it right now. And I highly doubt it if you're going to be a martyr, especially when you're uh, confessing the way I heard you confessing today. You know, not too many people are doing that. But uh, that's what it's about. It's about sharing, you know. Sometimes it's not about, you know, material things. You share what you know. Um, we're getting ready to go. We are getting ready to go, and let me tell you something. I'm so ready to go, too. I'm tired of this place. Not only that, um, this body and the flesh, I don't like it. Now, some people like living in this world like they love it so much. I'm just totally amazed with these people when I meet them. You know, and I can see it in their face, and it's just pushing out their pore holes. They're so worldly and earthy. Um, and they all think they got it all. They got wealth. They got everything in the world they wanted. Thinking how blessed they are while looking down on other people. It's going to be a rude awakening for these people. Very rude. They're not going to like what's coming. Get ready. Keep your eyes sharp. We're getting ready to go home, man. I've been watching all this now for quite a while, and uh, I see all the signs, you know. I don't believe I'm at the point where I can even wake anybody up at this point. I believe it's been so long now that it's all set. When I seen that vision of the harvest, all the fruit that was on the vine, to me, that's telling me everything that's on the vine is going, and there's pretty much nothing else to be put on that vine. All this stuff is the way it is. It's lukewarm. Because if somebody wasn't lukewarm, I would know it. Just when I'm talking to them, how they would be. They'd be warm towards you. You know, they'd be more nicer to talk to you. And that's not an easy thing to see today. You know, I think that's why Jesus said the kingdom of heaven will be compared to uh, ten virgins, five wise and five foolish. The foolish still come. But they're going to get a rude awakening. Because if they don't see what's happening right now, they're going to have to go through what's coming so that they will see. You know what I mean? God bless you. Be with the Holy Spirit. And remember there's power in the name of our Lord Jesus Christ. And these things, they'll flee into the darkness. I've already seen it. You know? And we have power through Jesus, you know. Jesus said, all you have to do is believe. And uh, if you got demonic people around you, man, just ask for the Holy Spirit 
the sword of uh, the truth, the sword of the spirit, which that is the word of God. And uh, just use that sword. Trust me, man. I've seen it where I called upon it. They look like somebody was running them through, man, with a sword in their stomach, hitting them on their sides with it. And they were like fleeing. I've seen it. You know, it's very powerful and it's very real. We're dealing with, you might see people in the flesh that's got demons hosting them. But remember, we're still dealing with the spirit. We can attack those spirits just like they're attacking us. Um, but what's getting ready to happen here has got to happen. It's just part of what the Lord said is going to happen. His word will come true. Um, and remember, there's power. Jesus Christ can do what he pleases to you. Yeah, and if you're testifying for him right now, and you're speaking up, even though I know that these are the times now where everything on the vine is going, and uh, everything else is not attached to the vine. I can see it. They're not going. And when I had that vision, what's at hand, we're getting ready to go. There's nothing left here for us to do other than, you know, comfort one another and just get ready. Keep looking up because our redemption draws near. We're getting ready to go home, man. God bless you.